I'm Nora Laura and today I'm going to be doing a first impressions of the new Revlon stuff. So I I don't know why I keep filming first impressions, but I can't stop buying makeup basically and I feel like my blush is really strong today. I'm looking a bit like a clown. Anyway, what I've recently picked up, and I say recently, I say about an hour ago, was the Revlon, the new Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Colour lipsticks, liquid lipsticks. Revlon are jumping on the bandwagon of liquid lipsticks and I kind of hope these are good. As I said before, my the Revlon matte like stick things that are like big crayons, um, I found those to be really drying so hopefully these won't be as drying and I also picked up the new Revlon mascara which is the length and volume magnified one which is like a lilac, can you call it like a blue lid? It's not blue, it's like bluey purple. And so I thought I would pick these up to try on camera for you guys and I've already done all of my makeup as you can tell besides from my mascara and my lipstick. I kind of like the packaging of these, they're really streamlined as you can see they're really thin. Kind of remind me a bit of a tampon. Yeah, anyway. I'm glad they've got this thing on it though because you can never tell whether it's been used or not and I hate getting home and realising that you've bought the bloody tester. Does anyone else hate that? <laughs> right. You know what? I'm going to zoom you in for this. Should I curl my lashes? I can curl my lashes as well. Guys, I need some new eyelash colours. Would you recommend the Shrew Mirror ones? Are they worth the hype? <laughs> right. I'm just going to zoom you in so you can actually see how this looks. So I'm just going to curl my lashes and apologies for my eyebrows. They need a wax but I'm trying to grow them out a little bit because they're getting a bit thin. <laughs> so now I'm just going to apply the mascara. I'm using the new Anastasia Dip Brow stuff and I don't know if I like it. This colour's really ginger, I think. Anyway, I'm here to talk about the mascara and all that. Ooh, I like this brush. Can you see that? It's a very... How would you call it? It's, I don't know, I like the brush. What? Can you see this? There is nothing... I'm going to go a bit closer. There is nothing coming out on my lashes. Are you having a joke? Right, okay. Can you see this? There is literally nothing on my lashes. Okay. This is not very black at all. Barely anything has come out. I mean, they're not very, they're quite spread out. Not very much length and not very much volume, I would say. They've just coated each of my lashes. Hasn't and really added anything. Right, let's try with the other eye. The formula of this mascara is so dry, but I feel like that's gonna hold my lashes a lot more because the Lash Sensational, which I love, I really, really, really like, it is so wet that as soon as I cut my lashes and I put my mascara on, they just flop back down. So maybe this, this will hold the curl a lot better. Let's try with another coat. I feel like you really need to work this into your lashes to get anywhere. I I just can't believe how little product there is comes out of the brush. Can you see? It's not anything mind blowing. <laughs> this bloody blush is gotta look like a clown. Okay. First impression of this mascara is that it's really dry. I feel like I was tugging on my lashes to try and get some volume, get some thickness in there, and it just took a lot of, yeah, <laughs> just going like this. Um, I don't know if I like this or not. What's gonna be the true test is if it rubs off under my eyes, because that is the main problem that I hate with mascara. It's like the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara Beautiful, but it just rubs off all around your eyes. So let's just see how this goes. So I picked up two shades of the liquid lipsticks and I picked up Seduction and Devoulement. Devoulement? I'll put it I'll put it on the screen now. And I asked my sister which one to use. Should I use the nude? This is the palest colour they have by the way. 
This is the nudist colour though. They have, all the others are quite bright. This is like the third palest one, and I think there's about eight shades, so that shows how bright this whole range is. But I think I'm gonna go for the matte, my sister picked the matte, so I'm gonna go for that one. So like I say, this one is called Seduction. We've got quite nice names. I think I'm tr kind of trying to copy um, Nas, maybe. Maybe? No, with their sexy names. Okay, just pulling all of this labelling off. It's really annoying. All the labelling for it covers the applicator, so you need to take it all off to apply it. Anyway, shall I zoom you in for this? Let's zoom you in. Thank you very much, Stress and Hormones, for causing me to break out all around here. <laughs> okay, let's just apply this. Flat applicator on one side. Well, it's kind of, it's a bit like a triangle shape. Quite like this, okay. smells like it smells oh it smells like a lip gloss I swear I used to wear when I was about 10 11 automatically on my lips I feel like this is drying honestly I mean it hasn't set yet maybe I should yeah it's applied really nicely though I like the color it's not patchy at all some people say with the nudes they often go patchy I mean any brand I'm not talking specifically about this but this is applied nicely I feel like it's showing up on camera a lot brighter than it really is. It's quite, I would say your lips look better kind of colour. I, ho I hope that this sets matte, maybe we should just wait. I applied this liquid lipstick four minutes ago and it is semi it's gone semi matte. I feel like if you blot it, it will go matte. And I will try and update you to see how it wears. I'm going out for dinner now, literally now. So I'm, that's why I'm rushing. And I, don't, I feel it's feeling comfortable, glossy. I feel like I should have only really applied one coat rather than two. but. Yeah, I like it. I really like this colour and I hope I like the other one too and I hope it's not too drying because I really like these. I forgot to say at the start that the mascara was 9 99 the lipstick was 8 99 They're on 3 for 2 at the moment at Boots. There are constant offers on at Revlon and everywhere at Superdrug on Boots, so make sure you check that out. I'm pretty sure that Revlon is available at ASOS and lots of other different places, so make sure you check it out. I think there's 8 colours in the range. I want to say 8, maybe 6. I think there might have been 6. Maybe six, I don't know, sorry, um, I should have counted when I was there. I hope you enjoyed this, I'm gonna be updating you, so I'll catch you in a bit, but that will be on my phone, so apologies for the poor quality of camera, and probably poor quality of filming as well. I will catch you in a bit, I hope you're having an amazing week, because I probably won't be able to finish this properly. Like, comment, share, subscribe, everything you always do, thank you so much for watching, see you next Tuesday at 6pm, bye! Bye! So we're now not going out for dinner straight away, I'm just going back upstairs, and I have just had a drink, and um, there was a tiny bit of transfer onto my glass, but not a lot, and it's not gone completely matte yet. Well, I did. No, not completely, I would say. But I mean, it's feeling really comfortable on the lip. Not too drying. No. Overall, I like this. No transfer yet from the mascara, but I haven't had it on very long. <laughs> it has been pretty much exactly an hour, and since I applied it, and. It feels really comfortable on the lip. It's completely matte now. It feels like it's not budging at all. It doesn't feel drying. And I really, really like the colour of this. It is a your lips but better colour, I would say. It's darker and then it lightens as it dries, I think. I hope that you can see this. It looks quite dark, actually. But yeah, I really like this colour. I wonder how the um, darker colours will dry. I wonder if they'll be drying or not. Oh, and I've eaten a bag of crisps. So I wonder if that's that hasn't rubbed off at all. Nope, nothing. Nothing coming off at all. Love it. So we've now gone out for a meal and my lipstick is still kind of on. I don't know how well you can see it. I've got my blush looking intense in this light. It doesn't look that bad in the mirror. Oh my gosh, it does. But um, it's stayed on really well. I've drank, I've ate. I love this lipstick so much. And I really want to try the other colours in the range. I would so recommend this. My mascara hasn't rubbed off under my eyes. Sorry, I'm just looking in the mirror behind me. I love them both. Double thumbs up, Revlon. <laughs> I really like this range. Thank you so much for watching. As I said before, like, comment, share, subscribe, everything you always do. See you next Tuesday at 6pm. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!